quote, if the way we measure success is neurotypical behavior, we never succeed because we're not neurotypical. Then we wonder, why are we always feeling like we're failures? I promise you that giving yourself permission to be neurodivergent will change your life. Hey everybody, this is Danielle, and I like to go over uh, topics related to autism and um, anything just kind of mental health related. So today I want to talk about, um, are you making, you are making progress if you have these feelings after you have been diagnosed um, on the spectrum or even self-diagnosis, totally fine. So you're making progress if, if you're learning to be honest with yourself. So these are all things that did not come natural to me or anybody who's usually on the spectrum. These are kind of, they need to be taught to us. And um, now that I have this information of being on the spectrum, I now am able to learn these things. So the first one, learn to be honest with yourself. Number two, learn to regulate your emotions, especially during tremulous times. This is definitely a big one for um, if you're on the spectrum. It's okay and normal to have emotions, anger, sad, even depressed. It's normal, but how you cope is the important thing. All right, next, taking proactive steps to manage your health. A lot of people on the spectrum will just not take care of their physical health. Um, I'm not really quite sure why this is, but I know it's a big one, especially for me. We just don't, um, we just go and go and go until our bodies really shut down. That's just what we're doing. Next, taking responsibility for your actions. I have a lot of apologizing to do, um, especially being late diagnosed with autism. I didn't realize the bridges I was burning and people I was hurting. And this, I know, is a lot, has a lot to do with being undiagnosed. I'm excited and happy to finally be working on that. Taking responsibility for my actions. Able to say sorry. It's important to say sorry if you hurt somebody or you're wrong. Um, pride, don't don't have too much pride to say you're sorry. If you love someone, it's important to. Even if you, even if you don't, it's important to say you're sorry if you're wrong. Learn to forgive yourself and trust yourself. It's important. You have to love yourself. This is hard, but once you get there, it's so, life is so much more enjoyable. Um, able to invite failure as a change, or sorry, able to uh, invite failure as a chance to reflect. Definitely. Um, I remember, not only me, but when you're on the spectrum or you have trouble coping, you just kind of reflect and think of what you could have done different versus it gives you a chance to um, change and maybe know that you're going to do something in a different way versus what you could have done. And that's very, very important for healing and moving on. Make time to practice self-awareness. Definitely the fight or flight. I'm People on the spectrum need to realize it's okay to have self-awareness. It's, it's really hard and doesn't come natural if you happen to fall on the spectrum. All right, what else? All right, learning to set boundaries and improve communication skills. This totally equals creating healthier relationships. That's the whole thing about autism. It's a spectrum and it has to do with how I communicate and see the world and interpret things. And um, learning to set boundaries, that has to do with communication, it really does. What I am, am and am not okay with, people on the spectrum have a hard time with this because we just wanna please you and that's what makes us happy a lot of the time. Um, I hope these things help. Um, I know they really have with me. These are all things I didn't understand. And if you fall on the spectrum, even not on the spectrum, um, like having ADD or any other form, um, bipolar, you can really have trouble with these things because they just don't come natural. Um, oh, and if anyone ever wanted to know, it does snow in Arizona. We have a whole bunch of snow. I will talk to you guys later.